Uh, my name is Lisa Jacobs, and I'm a surgical oncologist at Johns Hopkins University and Howard County General Hospital. I take care of breast cancer or diseases of the breast and melanoma. There are times when we recommend that we remove the area out of the breast. And sometimes that's because we don't think the needle biopsy was accurate. Other times it's because we're pretty sure the thing is benign, like a fibroadenoma, and the person doesn't want it there. And at other times, it's because we have an indeterminate result. There are some findings that we get at the time of a needle biopsy that are suspicious but not diagnostic of cancers, and therefore we do a lumpectomy or an excisional biopsy to get a more tissue to be able to say what it is. Um, each of those are handled in a slightly different way. If it is a fibroadenoma where I can feel a lump and I know that it's going to be benign, then I'll put the incision in a location that can be relatively hidden, like at the edge of the areola, um, which is the pigmented part of the breast, or at the inframammary crease, which is where the breast sort of folds over on the bottom part. And then we just dissect up to the area of the lump and take out just the lump. If the finding is what we would call a discordant finding, that means there's something that we either feel or we see on imaging that we're worried about, we generally would want to take that out just to confirm that there's not something more worrisome there. And we would generally make those incisions directly over the lump or the abnormality that we see on the imaging. We make a cut on the breast. The cuts on the breast are usually about an inch or an inch and a half in size. We hide them if we can, but it, here it's more important to be directly over the area. And then we take out a segment of the breast tissue. When we are doing a lumpectomy just for diagnostic purposes and not for treatment of cancer, we take out a, something I usually tell people it's about the size of a large olive. And that gives us enough tissue to know what's there. So everything back together so that you don't have a depression in the breast and then close everything, the skin back up and make sure everything looks as good as it can. We get those results from pathology in about a week. It takes us about a week to get those results because it's more tissue. There are times that there are abnormalities that we want to take out that are simply identified on mammography. And in those cases, we have to have what's called a wire localized lumpectomy. This is, again, a version of an excisional biopsy. Excisional meaning we're just taking out the area. Um, and that involves a radiology procedure, which is, means that the radiologist place a needle next to the area so that I can tra use that as a map to get down to the proper area. We then make the same cut on the breast, follow that wire down to the proper location, and then again take out something that's about the size of a large olive. Once again, sew it all back up close it back so that you don't have a depression in the skin, and then again we get the results in about a week. Um, if there's an area on the breast that is just an area only, in the bre only on the skin, then we will do something called a skin punch biopsy. And that, if we had something deeper in the breast, we would biopsy that, because those are usually more productive. But if there's a rash on the nipple and areola or redness to the skin, then we would want to biopsy those areas of just a skin biopsy. We do that by a skin punch biopsy, and that's done by numbing up the skin and then using a small thing that looks like a miniature cookie cutter. And it's, a, it's sharp, like a knife would be, and we... Um, take a little small circular biopsy of the skin. And the size of these biopsies are usually 3.5 millimeters, which is about a sixteenth of an inch. So they're very small. They do not leave much of a scar. We go all the way through the skin and then we just trim it off at the bottom and send that off to the pathologist. And that gives us some diagnostic material to be able to evaluate what the abnormality of the skin is. Uh, those results take about a week to come back. Uh, sentinel lymph node biopsy is a technique that we use to identify whether or not a tumor has spread to the lymph nodes in the armpit. And the older treatment, which we've used for 150 years, is to remove a lot of lymph nodes out of the armpit, usually 15 or 20. But that treatment had a lot of risks to it, um, including a permanent swelling of the arm called lymphedema. 
In an effort to reduce that risk and avoid that, we've developed a technique where we can reduce the number of lymph nodes removed to around one or two. And that involves mapping the lymph system or the lymphatic drainage of the breast and how it goes into the armpit to identify that first node that is draining the breast. And that's the sentinel, like the guard of the armpit. And that node would be the one that is most likely to contain tumor cells if tumor cells have spread to the armpit. So we do that by injecting a material in the breast. It's a little bit of a radioactive material. It then travels through the lymphatic channels and gets stuck in the lymph nodes. And then we make a small cut in the armpit and then use a Geiger counter to go right down onto those lymph nodes. And it's a little bit like using a metal detector to find metal in the sand because it beeps at you. And the closer you get, the, the beep changes so that you know you're getting closer to the node. And you go right down on the lymph nodes and pluck out a couple of lymph nodes. And those get sent off to be tested. Um, it's, it's changed the way that we practice. The development of this technique has changed the way that we practice so that we can do less surgery in the vast majority of women. So only about 20% of women have positive lymph nodes. So when we were doing that procedure where we took 20 or 30 lymph nodes out, in 80% of the women, they were all normal. Now we have a way of finding out who is normal there and who has tumor there, and we can tailor our approaches based on those results by removing less tissue.